Bonjour. Today is Saturday, February 12th. I'm here at my brother's house. The sun is quickly going down, which is okay. I'm going to wait at the house for my brother and my little niece, Maya, uh, to come back, hang out with them for a bit. And then I'm going to take my sled. I can't see it. It's there somewhere. Out to the camp spot and camp for the night. Uh, so I will be arriving in the dark on purpose. Yeah. All right, it is 6 p.m. Um, I'm just waiting for the cutest little camper. And then we are going to head out to the campsite. It's uh, minus 13, feels like minus 21. Uh, Maya's gonna cook up some hot dogs and then uh, jean Guy will come and pick her up. It's too cold for her to stay the night out there, even though she wants to, because she's the coolest. Oh my gosh, you're adorable. You're almost as adorable as you. Eat. What are their names again? Jackson and Alu. Tally. So Jackson's on left and Tally's on right. How do you tell them apart? Because Jackson's ear looks different. I see. We forgot them? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Out here. of nowhere. <laughs> Thank you, jean yeah, no <laughs> We forgot the hot dogs, Maya. Yeah. What do you think, Maya? Is this tent? Yep. What do you think? That's your tent? Yeah. Is it cooked? Is it cooked? Hey. Oops. Hey. What are you doing? So it is 6.56, the cutest little camper just left. And uh, it's already going so much better than last time. I'm also wearing three layers on the bottom. Um, I'm wearing like long johns underneath my pants on top of the wool legging, uh, stockings. And then three layers on top, plus my hiking um, uh, jacket. Like I'm not cold at all. So this is great. I know sleeping is gonna be the hardest trick like the the real test <laughs> so I brought my chair out here I'm gonna come out here and cook up my dinner um, but right now I'm going to uh, I've got my lamp I'm gonna set up my bed I've got an under quilt that's normally <clears throat> it's, I'm borrowing this from a friend I'm probably gonna buy it from him um, it's for my hammock tent but I'm gonna put it on the cot, as well as my Thermarest sleep pad, my good to minus 18 degrees sleeping bag. And then I also have, I just bought this, um, a sleeping bag liner that will add eight degrees of warmth. So I'll set that up now. This lamp is a game changer, that is for sure. So that's all set up. I didn't end up using the Thermarest thing because the under quilt, you know, it's folded over double it's quite thick. I know it's not how it's supposed to be used, but I'm sure it will add comfort. And I've got the liner inside there. So, yeah. So far, so great. It's 
So it's 20 after 7. It's minus 14. Feels like minus 21. Um, the wood is burning up quickly, but I brought lots. Um, I don't know if I'll cook out here or in the tent. But, yeah, this is, uh, this is great. It's funny how just those couple of things that I forgot um, are game changers, yeah. You know, it's just, it's good to have tasks to do, things to do. <clears throat> and, uh, and light. <laughs> Okay, so this is one of those uh, traditional Indian Indian lunch boxes. So in this bottom part, I've got my pork dumplings that I'm going to cook. Not in this, but I'm going to cook them, and then whatever's left over, I'll put in here. In here, I've got bacon, um, and I've got a can of beans. That's for the morning. And in here, I've got three. Well, I've you. got uh, soy sauce for the dumplings, hot sauce for the pork uh, for the uh, bacon and beans in the morning, and then some pumpkin spice for uh, coffee with maybe some whiskey. We'll see. So yeah, so this channel started um, because I was preparing for the Ozark Highlands Trail and I'd never winter camped. I'd never done a through hike, but yet I thought it was a good idea to fly to another country and uh, winter camp alone in the woods with no cell phone reception, no shelters, um, <clears throat> no water crossings, uh, what else? No where to buy food, it's voted the number one trail for solitude, so no other humans. Anyway, so I was preparing for that. So I'd come here to my brother's property to, to test, you know, um, my gear and my stamina and my constitution. And uh, yeah, so that's how this channel started. So that's why I've come here for my hundredth episode. Um, <clears throat> and this is by far, so back then, you know, I knew that the, the coldest it was going to get on the Ozark Highlands Trail was going to be minus uh, eight. And yeah, when I came out here, that was also the coldest that I had camped in was minus eight. Well, tonight it's going to be minus 18 and that's before wind chill and that's fine. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah. So that was two years and three months ago. And I've loved making videos for the channel, um, getting out there and doing stuff. Um, whether it be like, just cause I wanted to, or I was like, okay, well, what will I make for a video this, this week? And so I, I got out there even more, which is great. It was a, a catalyst to do even more great like fun stuff out in nature and push myself and challenge myself like tonight's a, tonight's um you know sort of a big night for me i've never camped in these cold of temperatures but i'm doing it in a safe way obviously if uh, i run into trouble i can call my brother or i can just go back to the house so it's all good but i think i'll be just fine but it's yeah, I really learned my lesson last week. Like it's not about, I mean, there is, there's part of it's just like, okay, survival, but also, um, <clears throat> it's important if you are going to come out here to do it for fun, then to not underestimate those aspects of it and make sure that you bring enough stuff and the proper stuff to enjoy yourself. So, yep. So I learned that last week with my fail and I'm really enjoying myself tonight.
Maya left one wiener. So I don't want it to go to waste. It's my appetizer. Twenty to nine, so the coyotes came back again. So that's a first um, of all the times I've camped out here. I can pretty much rely on hearing them. There's only been like one or two times I've been out here camping at my brother's property that um, I haven't heard them. To hear them twice in one night is a first. So that's awesome, amazing. I'm so happy. <laughs> Also, I would just like to say that these, like the fire, okay, the, I brought in a lot of firewood, but I'm also using a lot of like natural firewood from the area. And that is from the same pile that I compiled two years and three months ago when I first came here. I made a massive pile. I cleaned up the area. Like it was like... I made this massive pile and I'm still using that same pile. It's crazy and awesome. Of course, I'm right here beside the fire. So it's like all is great. What's gonna happen when I go inside the fishing hut with my little buddy heater trying to cook and then going to sleep. <clears throat> Will I end up cooking? I'm not super hungry, but it's it's not also like to to um, maintain like a higher body temperature through the night. You should eat right before you go to sleep. Um, anyway, I've got a two. I've got a bit of firewood left. I'm gonna burn it all. When that's done, I'm gonna go inside the fishing hut, turn on the buddy heater, cook. Hopefully, <laughs> maybe play ukulele. That's that's what I. That's the plan, and then go to sleep. Just, right now, this is like super enjoyable. Like I'm, I'm in heaven. Can I maintain that away from the fire? That's the question. My goal is to make cold camping enjoyable. Like obviously, you know, hot tent camping, easy peasy. So we'll see. All right, it's quarter after nine. The fire's still going outside. It's on its last, I mean, it's still quite bright, but it's, uh, I don't have any more firewood. Well, I do, but I'm not gonna feed it anymore. So I'm inside the fishing hut. The little buddy heater, I don't know, it just it, it turned on and then it shut off and it won't turn back on. I've got the ventilation open like there's certainly not carbon monoxide because it does have an, like it turns off, it has a tip thing. So it turns off automatically if it tips. 
and it turns off if um, the carbon monoxide levels are too high. So that can't be the case either way. So I've got three candles going and I'm going to cook dinner. So yeah, I guess we'll see how my comfort level and enjoyment level is inside the tent away from the fire. All right, so I've opened up the lunchbox. There's my frozen dinner. I'll put that in the water now. All right, water drained, a little soy sauce added. Delish. All right, it is 9.58 p.m. So I'm super thrilled that I stayed up this long and that I've entertained myself and stayed warm and ha been having a good time. Um, I'm ready for bed. I ate that whole meal, so <clears throat> um, nothing to pack away. Uh, yeah, so um, all I have to do is take my boots off, get into my liner and bag, throw some hot shots, uh, probably, I don't know, like somewhere on my body or in the, in the bag. And then just probably play on my phone until I fall asleep. Um, I'm hoping to make breakfast in the morning. If I don't do that, I won't be super disappointed. Um, just staying out here will be a huge accomplishment. So, so far so great. Uh, yeah, I'll say good night once I'm in my bag. All right, I am in my sleeping bag and the liner. I've got hot shots in my socks and hot shots in my gloves. Um, I can't really feel the hot shots in my socks, but I also don't feel cold at all in my toes. So anyway, um, yeah, it's 10 o'clock. I'm going to sleep. I'm totally warm. Yeah, everything's great. So see you in the morning. It is three in the morning. <clears throat> the coyotes woke me up and there was just some, I don't know what was going on. Uh, it's minus 18, feels like minus 25. I'm doing fabulously. I'm having a wonderfully warm sleep. So yeah, I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> Good morning. It is 7.40. <clears throat> it is minus 21. Feels like minus 28. I slept very warm all night. Like, perfectly warm. Perfectly warm. Um, this morning, as I started, like, waking up, I felt like a slight chill here or there. So I just did, like, 25 punches and like kicked my legs 25 times just to get the blood circulating and that did the trick. So, um, I'm going to make coffee. Oh, guess what? I forgot the can opener again. <laughs> that's okay. Um, that's a small fail compared, like this has been such a success. I'm so happy. Um, yeah, so I'm going to make coffee and then head back to the house. Lots of uh, condensation happening. Um, I do have the two, the two vents open, but um, even on my sleeping bag, I mean, that's normal. That's to be expected. Anyway. All right. So I packed up my, my sleep system right away just to have some exercise, like it's good to have tasks to do, you know, that creates heat, stuffing that stuff, you know, the bag and the quilt and the liner into the stuff sacks. 
So yeah, so far I'm still warm, um, <laughs> but I'm sure there's a microclimate happening in here and I'm afraid to feel what it's like out there. But I'm gonna have to go soon because nature calls. All right, let's see what the temperature's really like. And let some of this moisture out, oh my goodness. And, not bad. Oh, nice morning. I think I'm gonna take uh, everything back to the house except for the, uh, the tent and the cot. Use the washroom at the house. Um, it is fine out here, actually. Um, yeah. Well, actually, it looks like Mother Nature is impatient. So business is taken care of. Um, I'm going to pack up everything right now. Uh, I could stay and make coffee because I could melt snow. So my, I brought water in a thermos, which stayed unfrozen. And I drank that through the night though. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, I could melt snow and make coffee. I should have done that before I started packing up though. Uh, we'll see. Gotta put some snow on that. And yeah, I think we'll get going. I'm just going to pack up the ice fishing hut and the cot, and then this trip is officially over. Well, the uh, skirt uh, is, I, I can't take this down. The skirt is uh, frozen solid into place. So I'm gonna have to leave it there. Uh, I'll have to wait for it to warm up and then I'll come take it down. So maybe I'll do another <laughs> video out here in some warmer weather. Um, so I guess that's it. Uh, thank you for joining me for my 100th episode of Woman in the Woods. Um, it's two years and, and, December, January, February, and three months old, this channel. 
and um, I really enjoy doing it. I really enjoy the excursions and I really enjoy making the videos and yeah, hopefully it'll just continue and grow and, and get better. Thank you so much for coming along. Um, yeah, please continue to watch, comment, like, and subscribe. Keep my retirement dream alive of doing adventures in nature full time when I retire in 12 years and two months. See you in the next video.